What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a few new goodies for my Springfield Armory XDM Elite in 10 millimeter. I've had this gun for a little bit. I've done a couple videos on it. If you haven't seen those, I'll link them below so go check those out. But the goodies I got for this, one I wanted to get a red dot so I ordered a Hollow Sun 507C. This one is with a green dot. I don't have any that are a green dot all my previous ones are all the red dots but I'm a big fan of Hollow Sun so I thought I'd try out the green series 507C. I also got a gas pedal for it and if you don't know what that is it replaces the little takedown lever that's on these guns and provides a place for you to rest your thumb and provide pressure because this 10 millimeter kicks significantly harder than a nine millimeter. So that just gives a place for your thumb to rest when you're shooting. And I think that'll help out quite a bit. I've tried it on a few other guns and I really like them. I wish, wish these guns came with them from the factory with a little ledge there to put your thumb on. Also, when you buy these guns that come optics ready, a lot of times they come with the plates in the box like the Glock MOS, or the FN 509 they come with the different plates for different optics all of them are in the box or they give you the option to order whatever optic plate you want from the manufacturer from them Walther does that Springfield does that there's numerous others that do that so they don't have to package all the optic plates for all the different optics in the box so you just go online fill out the form and order whatever optic plate you want for whatever optic you're gonna put on it so I went online, ordered the optic plate for an RMR, which is the same as the Hollow Sun 507C, and Springfield shipped it out to me. And it was like three days and it was at my door. I didn't even get a notification that it had shipped until the day that it showed up at my house. So this is the plate that Springfield sent. It's a little thicker than aftermarket plates, but it is solid steel, well built obviously fits perfect because it came from them. So we're gonna throw this red dot on and I'll swap out that takedown lever for the gas pedal. Springfield does their optics mounting system a little differently than others. It's got the three screws that hold the cover plate on. So you just gotta pull that cover plate off. We'll just use this little torque wrench, loosen up these screws, and then I'm gonna reuse these screws to bolt that optics plate on and then I'll use the screws that came with the hollow sun to bolt it down to the plate. So I got those screws out, I'll just pull this plate off, this cover plate, that's what it looks like underneath. And then this optics mounting plate they sent me just sits down on there just like that and then I'll use the screws that I pulled out of that cover plate to bolt this down. So I'll just set these in here, they already have Loctite on them and then I'll just torque them down to the same torque spec that I'm gonna torque the red dot down with, which is 15 inch pounds. I got my little Wheeler fat wrench that I use. Um, this is a great little torque wrench, easily adjustable. Also, any of this stuff that you wanna check out, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can follow that link. It'll take you over to our website and you can go check this stuff out. Any of these Torx wrenches or the torque wrench, the fat wrench, the hollow sun, I'll link all that stuff. So you guys can follow that first link in the description. Go over there, check that stuff out. So I'll just snug these down by hand and then I'll use my fat wrench to torque them to spec. So here's what the plate looks like when it's installed. Nothing fancy. It does hang over the edge just a little bit right there. But any full size red dot will do that. Uh, these slides are pretty narrow. Here's the Hollow Sun 507C. And we're gonna just throw that on. It's got those recoil lugs that it sits down on. And then I've got the little screws that came in the box with the Hollow Sun that I'll drop down in here. Snug them down with my little wrench. They are a Torx bit, and then I'm torquing it down to 15 inch pounds. So 
So that's what it looks like with the hollow sun installed. Like I said, I love these optics. Yeah, they're not an enclosed optic, which is all the rage right now, but these have worked flawlessly for me and they are my favorite red dot by far. Now I will have to get taller iron sights because these won't co-witness with the height of that red dot. They are way too short. So I'll have to look at getting some taller sights for that. Now these gas pedals, if you've never seen these, go check them out. So that's what they look like. It just replaces that takedown lever with this new takedown lever. It's got kind of a ledge that you can put your thumb on that kind of helps you control recoil a little bit. Which as you can see in this video, that I have to keep kind of adjusting my thumb when I'm shooting this gun. 10 millimeter does have quite a bit of recoil compared to nine millimeter. So I think this will help out quite a bit. So to throw that gas pedal on, we'll just lock the slide back and then rotate that takedown lever up, just like that. Release the slide, pull it off, and then you're just gonna remove this takedown lever. To do that, you're just gonna rotate this forward a little bit to 10 o'clock, provide some out pressure, and then just roll it counterclockwise until it comes out. Here's what those look like side by side, the factory takedown lever and the gas pedal. To install this gas pedal, you're gonna put that nub right on top of that spring, have some inward pressure and rotate it clockwise till it pops through, and then line that up in the other side. Then you're gonna keep rotating it clockwise with a little bit of inward pressure until that thing locks in. So it'll lock in like that. We'll put this slide back on, lock it back, and then we'll just rotate this lever up, just like the factory one. That takes the place of that factory takedown lever. It does give you a nice ledge to put your thumb on when you're shooting to kind of help mitigate some of that recoil. It gives you a solid spot to give a little bit of forward pressure to help combat that recoil a little bit. Now, the only downside to the gas pedal is if you're concealed carrying this or looking for a holster for this, you're gonna to have to get a specific holster that accommodates that gas pedal because it does stick off the side of the gun more than the factory takedown lever. So that's, that's gonna be something you're gonna to have to look into if you're looking for a holster for this thing. So like I said in the description, I'll have links to all this stuff, the tools I use, stuff like that, go check those out. If any of you Springfield guys, have any suggestions for taller sites, let me know in the comments because I'm gonna be looking for some of those pretty soon so that I can co-witness through this red dot. If you haven't yet, go follow us on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.